Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome to a micro episode of Tales from Delamar. I'm Basil, this is Sandy Garbo, and the wild update is upon us. The warden is just out of reach, out of sight, but the frogs, the mesa, a desert, uh, the tree, no, I forget what it's called again. The spools of blue tree. Damn it. <laughs> so, I pulled an all nighter last night at work. Uh, canvas wrapping shell, so I don't, I'm not, I got, I don't know. But I also spent some time not finding a goddamn thing this morning. So thanks to Brandon and Abigail and their fucking wings. <laughs> for discovering almost all of the parts of the new wild update in Delamar. I'm so fucking stoked. I even brought slime balls and buckets with me to feed the frogs and catch the tadpoles. I was so confident that I was gonna find anything. I did make a boat with a chest in it, so that was satisfying. I'm not a super big fan that when you break the boat, the boat and chest stay together as one object but everything pops out of the chest. It seems weird and different from like the mine card, but it's fine, it's not a, it's not a, not a, not a deal breaker. <sighs> yeah, so I ended up going like, for, for those with wings, this isn't gonna sound like much, but I used two potions of swiftness to travel about 13,000 blocks, which is exciting, I made 10,000. That was, that was one of my goals. Um, so next goal is 25,000, and then 50,000, 75,000, 100,000, and someday a million. Maybe. That sounds like a long time. <laughs> so, I made it to 13,000. I found nothing. I found a couple of ruined nether portals. I found an outpost, and I completely forgot to look for the LA! God damn it! <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna find the mangrove trees, I'm gonna find the frogs, and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> no, it was it was pretty cool to travel. It was, it was nice travel. But then, you know what I did? I had a bunch of obsidian, and I, oh, I didn't bring my ender chest, because I'm a fool. And I found a spot near a, uh, near 13,000 or 12,600 or something like that. It was like 3,000, negative 13,000. And I was like, oh sweet, here's a underground, an underwater uh, fortress, whatever they're called. The things, with the things that make you go, ooh, now you're bad at mining. With the spoon, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I was like, well, that seems like a good spot to put another portal down over here. And I'll just start hiking back. And eventually I'll just make my way back here. No, I made the fucking nether portal. And then I was like, oh, I need iron to make a fucking flint and steel shit. And so then I went looking for iron. And then it got dark and I got lost. And I did not find my way back. But I did find other lava. <laughs> So I got more obsidian, and I made another portal, damn it, which put me in the middle of the fucking basalt flats, which was terrifying. So then I, my smart ass was like, I'll leave all of my good equipment, and uh, that way, when I die, I won't lose anything. Well, now, now that means I don't have my equipment. So I was able to take my way through a few, uh, uh, like a thousand blocks in the nether and my awesome pickaxe is almost, almost busted and magma cubes really hurt and I, this gold armor is stupid and ghasts are jerks and then I fell out of my tunnel down a hundred blocks to half a heart. <laughs> <laughs> into a warped biome, so then it, it, which was bordering a basalt flat, so there was also the magma cubes in there, and uh, just around the corner, ghasts were shooting at me. 
So I dug a hole and just made another nether portal. So now I'm somewhere at negative 8,000. I've made it like half, not even, not even halfway. Uh, and then I realized that I don't have any of my stuff. And I'm like, why did I do that? Why did I do any of that? That was fun. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, thank you for Abigail and Brandon for finding some of the wild stuff. I'm sure at some point you'll share or you'll just float. Either way, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, but thank you for finding the mesa. I love all the, the, the wonderful colors of terracotta that I could have already made, but instead I'm gonna just figure it out. I don't know, whatever. Okay, I'm Basil. This is Sandy Garbo, and this has been an episode of Tales from Delamar. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>